This is Brie. She's a sensational lace front wig, but it's really not a lace wig. The hairline is actually just lace. And you can use heat on it up until 400 degrees, but to be safe, I probably wouldn't go any further than 350, to be honest. The color is a two, but I will tell you that the color is really dark. Um, it kind of just looks like a one to me. I'm going to show you the construction. The top isn't so much of a lace front. It's more like a, a skin top, if you can see that. The part that's lace is the actual hairline. And I'm going to show you like the inside. This is the inside construction. There's a comb at the top, then one down here at the bottom. The hair overall feels really nice. But I'm going to go try it on and do a review for you guys. But as you can see, you see the color. It doesn't look like a two to me, but that's fine. I was worried about getting a brownish color anyways. Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm excited today because I got a new wig. Her name is Brie. I bought her from Hair Sisters for $27.99. And I got her in a color two. And with this wig, it says it's a lace front, but I'm not going to call it a lace front because the top is more like a skin top. And the only thing that's lace on it really is the hairline. So that looks really natural. And it has baby hair, but I didn't really see the baby hair. But so far, so good. The texture is really great. It's not too silky to where it looks fake. It's actually more of a light yakky. And you can curl it just like human hair. You can curl it up to 400 degrees. But uh, I would stay around the 350 zone. Yeah, you can wash it. And it says it's premium fiber, so you can curl it just like human hair. And as I said before, it's sensational Empress lace wig, natural lace front. And it looks just like the picture. It already has a bang cut and everything. And it has two combs in the front. And one in the back, but I don't, I don't use combs. So let's put it on. I talk mine to the side. My wig has a part in it. Um, I put it to the side. Just because I like a deep part. And the way this looks, it looks like if you don't put it to the side, it's just going to be more like a part right here. Let me get all up in the camera because I can't see. And by the way, please don't mind my camera lens making noise. I have a digital SLR camera, so that's just my lens focusing in on me. It likes to be anal at times. I should have bought a mirror down here so I could see what it is I'm doing. But yeah, I really like it. It's long. Comes down here. So this is where my weave comes. And that's like a 20 inch. But I'm I'm short, y'all. I'm 5'1". Five, five but yeah, it comes to here. I like the layers. I'm feeling the layers that are already cut in it. And I'm going to get up close to let y'all see the hairline. That's the hairline. And this is the top, if you can see. I've only had it turned inside out. If y'all notice a cone head effect or anything, that's why. And I, I just had it turned inside out for a little while because I was excited to get it put on. Um, I'm going to pull it back and show y'all the hairline. But I don't have it pulled up because I can't see that well because I'm looking in the camera as my mirror. But it says you can put it back in a ponytail. See, I don't have it pulled up at all, really. Now, if you can see. But I just love the fact that it's already styled. Like, the bang. The bang is legit. Y'all know. That looks good. Hair Sisters never lets me down. I also got a curly one. And her name is Credit Girl. But I have not uh, had a chance to try her on yet. Because, like I said, I just got my shipment today. And I was just really excited to try this one on. Because in order for me to wear Credit Girl or Creedy Girl, whatever her name is, 
I have to dye my hair jet black. Even though I dyed my hair jet black last month, uh, it was jazzing. I read a lot of good reviews about that online, but obviously it was a lie. Because I'm telling you guys, the color lasts for like a week and a half and the ends of my hair were black, blonde again. I was so mad because I had a sew in and it was jet black. So yeah. So I gotta dye that and then I'll do a review on that. That's a half wig, so I'm gonna have to probably do a straw set to make it blend. But I've seen a lot of good reviews about that online as well. But like I said, $27.99 Hair Sisters also has a sale going on right now. It's free shipping if you get an order over $49. So I just went ahead and got a Beverly Johnson. Did I say that? Beverly Johnson wig cap. I don't like it though because I thought it would be brown but it's black. And I don't like wearing a black wig cap because I just think it makes the scalp look unnatural. Speaking of scalp, like the parting space on this is pretty good. It's from like here to here. So if you want to change your part, say you don't want your part on this side, yeah, you can flip it. That that's fine. But yes, I think I like Brie more than I like Gala. It's really full. I read some reviews that people said that it wasn't full, but I think this is full enough for me. Why would you want it any fuller? That starts looking unnatural. But if you ask me, this looks just like a sewing, except it took two minutes to put on. I'm going to show you the back. That's what the back looks like. And this is how the back looks. And it comes... It's like mid-back length for me. But once again, I'm short, so... But yeah, no shedding. No shedding at all, literally. None. So, I give this 5 out of 5 stars. It's great. Like I said, Hair Sister to never let me down. Empress Sensational Lace Front Wig. It's cheap. I ordered it on Monday. It's Thursday and it was here. Okay, Thursday. one thing I forgot to mention is that I added some of my Maybelline New York Super Stay Makeup. It's my foundation. I added it up here to the scalp just so, like, you know, people that have, like, the human hair lace fronts and full lace wigs, they bleach the knots, and that's, like, a process. It lightens the roots to make it look like it's growing out of your scalp. Because, like, with just lace wigs in general, like, no matter the quality, most of them, it's going to have, like, black bulbs. And with your natural hair, that's not how it grows out of your scalp. It's lighter. So... When you do this, it lets you skip a step and you don't have to go through bleaching the knots. And when you put this on, it lightens it and it makes it look like it's hair just growing out of your scalp. It makes it look very natural. You can also put this along the hairline on the lace as well to make it look more natural. But yeah, I just thought I'd add that in there. Just a little tip to make your wig wearing experience a little more better and make it look more natural. <laughs> 